We're here with Manesh Singh to find out a little bit about what continuous computing is doing in the wireless industry. Good morning, Manesh. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. So we, we're surrounded here by all kinds of wireless technology design. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about exactly what continuous computing does in this space. Who are your competitors? How do you differentiate yourself? Yeah, our key focus is really to solve the capacity challenge on the mobile broadband networks. And what that really means is we continue to see traffic is growing on these mobile networks exponentially, uh, year after year. And we are making investments and bringing solutions that really help operators to manage and address the capacity onto their mobile networks. Uh, the way we do that is we are investing in LTE, we brought in solutions uh, on the LTE, both on the access side uh, with small cells, very focused on adding capacity onto these networks in a very cost-effective manner. And then the other key thing we're doing is on policy enforcement with our DPI solutions for managing the traffic onto these networks uh, in a very, very cost-effective manner. Uh, so here we also brought in the solution for internet offload gateways, uh, policy enforcement points, really solutions that enable the operators to manage the traffic onto their networks. So your key differentiator is the ability for operators to fine-tune the management of these complex back-end processes. Absolutely. I mean, clearly one of the things we're seeing is not all traffic that's created on these networks are equal, and these networks are running hotter. At the end of the day, we know these mobile networks are spectrum limited. So how do you manage traffic onto these networks in a very cost-effective manner? And, and the way we do it with our DPI platform, we just announced uh, really our 40 gig uh, ATCA-based DPI platform really quadrupling the throughput on the same rack unit, lowering the cost per bit by almost 75%. Bringing in these policy enforcement solutions to operators that lower their cost per bit, effectively real-time enable them to manage the traffic onto their networks. Which is going to become more and more important as LTE becomes more prevalent in the, in the band. I mean, I, th I think policy, if I say in the last uh, two to three years, uh, has come you know, got the central stage in the uh, network operators, architecture, design, and rollout plans. Uh, policy was always one of those things that, you know, if you look a couple of years back, it was, yes, one of the things, but now it's become one of the most important things, both from traffic management perspective, as well as monetization perspective. How do you monetize your network much better? So, uh, you know, with our DPI platform, one of the things we are enabling the operators is, you know, on the user side, for market segmentation, uh, which enables them to offer different pricing plans. On the other side, you know, depending on the traffic types, whether it's video, voice, web browsing, email, uh, gaming, how do you take different type of traffic patterns and drive them and make them push them through the network? So it's, it's a combination of those. So just last month in Barcelona was the Mobile World Congress, and you had a big announcement there. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Mobile World Congress for us, was, I mean, it was a great show for us. Uh, we made a major announcement where 10 uh, big silicon ecosystem providers uh, partnered with Continuous Computing uh, for small cells, both for LTE as well as 3G. And some of the names included uh, Qualcomm, TI, PikaChip, Broadcom, uh, Design Arts, and, and a whole range of others who partnered with us to bring uh, complete small cell base station solutions where we're taking our Trillium software, pre-integrating them uh, on their silicons. As a matter of fact, here we're showcasing a couple of them, uh, two LTE reference solutions we're showing, uh, one with Pico chip, another one with MindSpeed. We're also showing a 3G uh, femtocell solution uh, in partnership with Qualcomm. Small cells, Metro, Pico, Micro, as well as Femto are going to play a very key role in LTE networks. And where policy controls become very important at those micro levels. Absolutely. I mean, policy control becomes very, very critical. Not only just that, making these policy controls ran aware. So you know where congestion is happening in the network and really tuning your policy at a cell level rather than putting a policy that's just, you know, monolithic and is applied across the entire network as a whole. So one of the things we've done is we brought in a solution uh, called Adaptive Traffic Shaping, where we bring RAN awareness and congestion awareness into the policy framework. Manesh, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, thanks. Wow.